Hi guys, so in today's video, I am sharing with you all what I eat in a day with the recipe of masala paneer, steamed oat, veggie oats and also wheat garlic naan and there is no secret that I start my day with um, ginger tea. I wanted to reduce the intake but my intake has increased by one cup so now I take three cups of tea every single day so here I am trying to grow some veggies so we have garlic here holy basil some mustard and I'm trying to grow tomato and chili and also okra that is ladyfinger now let me quickly finish my tea and we'll start preparing our breakfast so for breakfast we are making steamed veggie oats so for this you are going to need soaked oats so i have taken one and a half cup of soaked oat you can take a steel cut rolled oat whatever you want add half uh, chopped onion then half or one um, tomato you can also add veggies like capsicum carrot whatever you have in the fridge then some cilantro and we'll keep the uh, chilies for tempering then take a pot up uh, i mean pan add some oil ghee or butter let the mustard seed crack then add some cumin seeds and then add sl uh, the splitted chilies let it uh, crack completely and cook completely then we are going to add this in the bowl and also add one or three fourth cup of uh, yogurt then the tempering and salt to taste take a pot grease it and put this um, mixture you can also add some water to um, you know just be a uh, better like consistency you can directly cook it in a pan by covering the lid you can also cook it in the pressure cooker but today i am cooking it in the rice cooker that's why i'm using a pan greased pan to cook it it just takes one whistle in a pressure cooker and 10 to 12 minutes in rice cooker or just in a simple pan and your super delicious and healthy oats ready for the lunch i had decided to have a white rice with restaurant style masala paneer which i tried for the first time in this house but it has turned out super delicious so let me quickly share the recipe with you take um, pieces of paneer in a bowl add some uh, garam masala coriander powder cumin seed powder red chili powder turmeric powder salt and yogurt this is basically what we are doing is marinating mix them all really well and keep it aside for 35 to 40 minutes heat a pan add some oil four to five garlic cloves some green chilies and onion like half to one um, medium sized onion add grated ginger and two medium sized tomato or one big tomato will work let it cook until everything is very soft and you can add water if you want in middle of the cooking once everything is all cooked really well transfer it into a grinder because we have to make a paste out of it now heat the same pan add some oil and the marinated paneer with the batter if there is still some on the pot cook it until the water and all the moisture of the um, yogurt has uh, completely evaporated then transfer it into a bowl again take the same pan add some oil once the oil is hot add the paste that we made with the tomato garlic and onion then add the dried uh, masala like cumin seed powder uh, turmeric powder coriander powder garam masala red chili powder and some salt as per your taste give it a good mix and let it cook for the creamy texture i had soaked some sunflower seeds you can also soak some cashew nuts if you want and if not any nuts you don't want to use them you can use the fresh cream as well once the masala is little ready add some kasuri methi and the creamy texture paste which we made out of sunflower seed or cashew nut or i mean cashew nut paste or some fresh cream give it a good mix and after giving a good mix you can also add some water depending on how thick the gravy you want thickness of gravy also depends on uh, with what you are going to serve so uh, keep it little thin if you are serving it with rice and let it cook for two to three minutes now you can add your paneer but make sure that you are not stirring it a lot because otherwise the you know paneer get into a very thin scrambles and pieces we do not want that and here it is 
and for the dinner we decided to have the leftover sabzi with some wheat garlic naan so uh, let me quickly share the recipe of this as well take uh, atta add some salt as per your taste chili flakes and also some baking soda chili flakes is optional just in case if you like a spicy like us add some um, oil and also 4 to 5 spoon of yogurt if you have and with the help of water knead the dough keep it aside for 15 20 minutes then mm, prepare the mixture of garlic and also chopped um cilantro make sure the these two should be very finely chopped add some oil and keep it aside put the skillet on flame for a few minutes just to heat it now simply just the way we make roti roll it when you are half way through spread the mixture with the help of brush or a spoon it should be evenly spread then again roll it and make it in the shape of non naan if you want sprinkle some water or uh, with the help of brush or a spoon on the other side it on tawa the water side should be down let it cook completely then uh, cook from the other side the cilantro and the onion um, sorry garlic side on the flame but if you do not want to do it you can just flip the naan on the other side right on tawa cook it really well cut it with the uh, help of pizza cutter or knife and here you go it's ready In my next video I am going to be sharing with you all the pizza recipe from scratch so do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll get the notification of this video make sure to give this video a like if you really like these recipes and also you want me to do more such videos make sure to write me in the comment section which recipe you are going to try first and if you do try make sure to click a picture and post it on instagram and tag me so i can repost it thank you so much for watching today's video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye